guys and welcome to day six of our vlogmas here at Lowlander. Um, I'm glad you're back with us. I'm glad and hoping you're enjoying uh, watching our 12 days of vlogmas as we lead up to Christmas Day. So, so yeah, I'm glad to be back. I'm a little less tired today, um, which is a good thing. <laughs> I got my coffee, so so that's always good. And I guess you're noticing this lovely cowl that I'm wearing. It's kind of like a, I think they call them bandana cowls, but anyways, they kind of close at the back and you pop them over your head. Um, my dear friend Venita gifted me this for Christmas and I know what it is because I also have the kit but I haven't done it yet um, this was from the Jim, Jimmy Beans um, crochet club I don't know either October or November I don't remember when but anyways I am part of the Jimmy Beans crochet club and this was in one of their um, kits this year so and you know, I've never knit, crocheted, or worn a bandana kill before, but I'm actually really liking them because you get the look of a shawl, but at the same time you can slip it over your head and you're just all set to go. You don't have to fuss with the ends or putting on a shawl cuff or anything and they keep you toasty warm and I love it, love it, love it. So if you're watching V, thank you very much for my Christmas present this year. I love it. So, so yes, what have I been up to since I spoke to you last, which was only yesterday when I was a little tired. Um, well, yesterday I was uh, working and then after work, me and my daughter had girls night. So we went to the movies. She works at the Alamo, so I get the privilege of seeing movies for free which is nice um so we went to see i don't remember the name of it but it was the one that clint eastwood directed um and it was about the olympic bombings back in uh bombing back in 1996 but if you haven't seen it it is a really cool um and good storyline and and i actually cried a little bit through it because it was also a little sad so but yeah it was really good tonight out with my girl Rebecca she's all done with her finals now so and I must give a shout out to her she is in her I said in one of the podcasts she was finishing up her first year she was in her first year of college she actually corrected me she's actually in her second year of college so she just finished up the semester and she finished with all A's and B's. It was a really tough semester for her this year. She really struggled. Um, but glad to say that she passed everything with flying colors. Um, like I knew she would. So yeah. So yeah, I did that last night. Went to the movies with her. Uh, and now I'm just on here talking to you guys before I head out about my day. Um, I got lots on today. Um, my son Ross, who lives in Kansas City is coming down here for Christmas so he's going to be here Saturday and he is actually going to be sleeping in my craft room uh, which I have a bed in but right as we speak he can't get in there because it's full of stuff so so yeah that's project on my agenda today to get that all cleaned out and stuff so so yeah I gotta do that I'm really looking forward to seeing him he'll be here for about a week and a half so and I know that Kaz had mentioned um, yesterday on our podcast um, that she would love to see out and about in the Ozarks and asked me was the scenery and stuff uh, pretty accurate to the show Ozark and it actually is because that was filmed parts of it was filmed in the Ozarks so so I thought well I'm going to Kansas City on Saturday so I'll be in the car for a long time so I thought I'd take some footage for you Kaz and um, put it maybe in either Sunday or Monday's vlogmas so so yeah so so anyways hope you guys have all had a nice evening last night um it's really hard to vlog myself every day because you forget what day you're in you forget where you're at and sometimes i pre-record an episode the night before if i know i'm not going to be home all day but i am actually recording on the day this is going out so it is thursday december 19th 
and I am going to finish this up so that my daughter can edit it uh, before she heads out to work. So, so without further ado, I am going to, no I'm not, firstly I'm going to show you a little Stella Bella's hat that I finished. Um, I finished it, all done for Christmas, and yay, you can see the cables a little bit better today because the sun is not shining as much. And I decided, I know, don't look at my pom-pom, i got to tidy it up, I haven't tidied it up yet, but I decided to put a grey pom-pom in her hat just to give it a little accent colour, so, um, so yeah, I was really pleased with how it turned out, and like I said in my podcast the other day, this is the Reef beanie uh, by Lizzie Knits. You can find it on Ravelry. It was a super easy knit and just remember it runs a little small so you'll want to add some stitches on to it if you want to make it a bigger size than what her pattern calls for. So I went in increments of eight because I worked out that the pattern um, repeat itself every eight stitches. So, so if you buy her pattern and you need a bigger size, then just uh, plus eat it. So so yeah, I was really happy with how it turned out. And then also I did another hat, just like Isla's, but I did it for Becca. Started off doing it for Stella, but I knew she wouldn't like it, so I just kept going with it and made it for Becca, and I gotta put a pom-pom on it still, so. So yeah, I gotta finish that, and then I finished some headbands for the girls to put in their stocking. These are just my little crocheted rib, uh, oops, inside out, little crocheted rib headbands. So so yeah, those are gonna go in their stockings. Um, these are super cool. They just keep your ears all toasty warm. So so I got two of those. So yeah, I've been busy finishing up stuff and need to get back to knitting on my advent shawl. Um, because the past couple of days I've just been finishing up Christmas projects because I told you I'm staying on track and I'm not detracting from it so I am almost done completely almost done so yeah I'm excited about that so um, without further ado we are going to open day 19 of the Lowlander advent calendar so here we are at day 19 and we have a squishy package and let's see, we have yarn and something else. So let's see what yarn we have today. Let me pop my glasses on. Ooh, see if I can get the colors in here. Let's see if we can get it right there. Do you see that? Yeah, this one is called Wonderland and the little caption says walking in a winter wonderland and I must say this was one of my favorites to color because this one reminded me of you know like when the snow first starts to fall and you get that greenery that just peeks through the snow and it's just always so fresh and it's like winter is here Christmas is coming um, coziness is coming knitting by the fire is coming and that's kind of everything that yarn said to me and even though it's a very simple um, non fussy color yarn I must say it must be one of my favorites um, and I'm thinking that this will be added to our new yarns in 2020. So there's been a few along the way of the advent that I have, um, once I died, I've been like, oh, I love that. So, and I've also been listening to customers, uh, a lot of our customers that are opening advents, if they really, really like one of the yarns, they've been tagging me in it and going, oh, could we make this into a full ski? And uh, so I've been bearing that in mind. So I've been jotting it all in my Creative Ramblings book. For some new yarns that will be coming in 2020 so that's that Ooh, and we have some hot upside down some hot chocolate to go with it because you can't cozy up with some without some hot chocolate on a cold winter wonderland day so so yeah hope you guys all that's opening your advents are enjoying them and remember 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 not everybody gets the same thing in every parcel um, I didn't want to make it all the same. You get the same yarns, 
but the collection of goodies that um, I brought in to put in the parcels, I didn't keep a system to it other than a few that kind of went with the yarns. So, so if you see one person opening a yarn where they have something in it and you didn't, you know you're getting it in another package or you've already got it. So um, I just thought that would be more fun than everybody being the same. And I didn't want to change the yarns, obviously, because it was our advent calendar. So I thought I'd change up the goodies a little bit. So, so that is that. And now I get to open day six of my friendship um, calendars, not calendars, my fr friendship advents from Vanita and Jeanette. And this is most exciting to me because I don't know what's in it. So start as always with Jeanette Ooh, and I have two parcels from Jeanette today look at that guys I have two parcels and let me just check to make sure there's no notes in it because a lot of times Jeanette puts a note in here I can't really even see what it is let's see if there's a note in the other one if I can get this unhooked and there is a note it says to relax and refresh a little you time. Oh, a little me time. So let's see what we got. Oh my goodness, she so knows me well because I don't know if I can say this on my vlogmas. I suppose I could, there's nothing wrong with it. But one of my favorite things to do is to take a bubble bath uh, with a glass of wine. And I love all different bath products to put in my um, bath. So I am excited about day six from Jeanette because this is one of my favorite things, not necessarily this brand, but is to take a bubble bath. And I will relax and enjoy this when I'm in my bubble bath. Let's see what's in package number two. Look at that. Oops, we have a little let me see. Eucalyptus little salt bath bomb. Love it. And you can't take a bubble bath with all those lovely products without a... Uh, I don't even remember what these things are called. Doofer comes to mind, but I don't think they're called a doofer. So yeah, I love it, Jeanette. Thank you so much. And let me see what this one is. This is foaming bath with pure Epsom salts and some body lotion. Jeanette, Jeanette, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. Can't wait to take a bubble bath with a glass of wine. And I'm sorry, my hair's a bit of a mess because I just literally get out of the shower and let it dry and slapped it up. And now we are on to day six of Vanita's uh, friendship advent. So, and this one's a little easier to tell. It's obviously some sort of gift pouch for maybe a gift card. And um, let me see. Oh, <laughs> coffee to my favorite place. Oh my goodness, she gave me a Starbucks gift card. I love it. Thank you so much, Vinita. And my favorite thing to get at Starbucks when I go is I get a cappuccino grande with no sugar. And then when I get it, I sprinkle uh, chocolate powder on it. And I get a slice of lemon cake, which is my absolute favorite. So I do declare I am going out later. I am going to treat myself to a cappuccino and some lemon cake. So thank you so much, Vinita, if you're watching. You girls absolutely rock. So that's the gift opening. Um, but I thought I would show you something that I made um, with my, with the help of my friend, Lorena, who is a completely awesome um, sewer. As you know, she makes a lot of really awesome bags. And I had this bag in mind that I wanted to make and I bought all the stuff for it. And Lorena gifted me the pattern for it, um, but I didn't really have a clue how to make it. So I went over one day a few weeks ago and she helped me make it. But I absolutely love it. I wanted to make a new notions bag that I could sit 
at my table when I knit whatever I went and when I opened it it would stay open and just sit flat so I could just kind of dig in it for kind of what I needed to find and this is the bag I had in mind and she gave me the pattern and I bought the fabrics and I went and made it with her so this is my little project bag that I made I absolutely love it I put a lovely color zip on it and then I added a little teapot charm but it zips all the way from here to there but the cool thing about it girls is girls or guys because there's guys that watch us too I'm sorry I'm just so used to it because in my neck group it's all girls so if I say girls and not everybody and not guys I'm not meaning anything by it I'm just so used to saying that um, but anyways look at this guys it sits like this when you open it and when I see if I can do this are you seeing it it's got these little tabs at the side which means it doesn't open and fall flat uh, it kind of let me see if I can do this without spilling everything it kind of sits open so when you set it at your desk it sits like that and you can just pick from it anything you need and on that note actually maybe I should share a few things that I keep in my notions pouch let me see which maybe you guys might or might not let me see oops I keep a little tin little sheet tin Let's see if I can get a light in there and this is just full of all different types of stitch markers can't really I guess maybe just pull them out so this is where I keep my stitch markers you can see this one says sleeve I got these at my local yarn shop, the Village Yarnery. Oh, she has some awesome stitch markers. This one says B O R, beginning of round. This one says R S for right side. Anyways, that's just a little ton of stitch markers. What else have I got in here? Every knitter needs a little notepad in their um, notion pouch because you never know when you need to write a note. And then a friend gave me this cute little um, tin. It says I'm taking a trip, which is so appropriate for me because I'm always traveling somewhere. And I just decided to keep my buttons in it because you always sometimes need a button for something. So I keep my little buttons in there, um, as you can see. So that's for my buttons. And this, I don't know if you girls keep this in your notions bag. If you don't, you need to. Uh, my mum always had this in her notions bag, so when I became an outer and a crochet, of course, I put it in my bag. So I keep a little, uh, and I'm not advertising Johnson's baby powder, it can be any powder really, but I keep, a, me and my mum keep a little um, tub of baby powder in our notions bag. And for all you that are wondering that don't do this, why has she got baby powder? in her notions bag well a couple of reasons i keep baby powder in my notion bag is firstly as knitters our hands can get either oily or kind of dry and a lot of knitters use the i don't know what it's called but it's little tin and it's kind of like an oil cream i don't like that it makes my hands feel really waxy when i'm knitting um but what i love to do is i love to rub uh some talc into my hands which kind of dries the oils up and stuff like that but it also makes your knitting smell so fresh so whenever I'm knitting I always put a little bit of my hand and rub it in and then knit away and not only does it keep my hands from drying out too much it also makes my knitting smell really nice so just a little tip from Lolander what else have we got in here? Of course, you got to keep a band-aid in here. How many times, girls, if we cut our finger when we've been knitting and we've bled over our project? Don't do that. Just keep a plaster or a band-aid in there. So that's in there. What else? And you might not do this in Scotland, 
But I do it here for the simple reason being, sometimes when I go places to knit and I want a cup of tea, they don't have any regular tea. So um, I take my own tea bags just in case the place I'm knitting it doesn't have tea, so I can just ask for some boiling water and I make my own tea. <laughs> so, Because believe it or not, I have been to some tea shops here in the Ozark. I went to a tea shop one time here in the Ozarks and I asked for regular tea and they said, well, I, we don't have regular tea. And I said, well, what tea do you have? They had pomegranate, they had orange tea. I was like, I just want black tea. So anyways, I take my own tea bags. So that's that. And I just have all the regular stuff in here, like a measuring tape, cable needles, some little yarn bobbins, if I need just a little bit of yarn for something. My pom-pom maker, in case I've never had, and I decide to make a pom-pom while I'm out. This is a nifty little pom-pom maker. What else, girls? A nail file for all those times where we break a nail and we have to file it. And of course some scissors. These are my new scissors that Michael bought me for Christmas. It was a little early Christmas present. So yeah, that's pretty much. And then all the regular other stuff is just stuff that you guys keep in your notion bag. So anyways, if you guys, any of you guys out there keep anything really unusual in your notion bag that you think most knitters wouldn't, or crocheters or crafters or whatever please share uh, because it's great to share tips or whatever you know um, so I'd love to know any unusual items that you haven't seen in my notion bag that you carry in your notion bag that I should carry in my notion bag so so anyways you have been tuned in to the Dyer's Journal podcast here with a lowlander vlogmas and I am going to tune out on this note and join you again tomorrow for day seven um december 20th so we're getting closer to christmas don't forget to hit the subscription button if you're tuned in for the first time um yeah and don't forget to comment to be entered into our christmas day giveaway um which will be announced on christmas day so comment 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 because that's how you get entered and I will see you for episode seven tomorrow. So for now, I'm still going to steal my mother's line, who, may I add, has become a YouTube sensation already. Um, so on that note, I am gonna say TTFN, ta-ta for now.